So it's Saturday morning, I go, uh, I'm out having a cigarette. Uh, I walk to the end of the driveway and look back and notice that the front windshield was smashed. So I ran up to my mom's bedroom, I opened the door, I'm like, yeah, somebody just hit our windshield. And then she's like, what? She gets out of the bed, she runs downstairs. We call the police. And uh, of course he came down and made a report. My son left the stones on a table outside because he thought something was kind of weird about it, but you know, he just kept, held on to it. So it was on the uh, table for about a week and a half when I was listening to the news and they mentioned that it could be a s small stone uh, covered in black. And that's when it kind of hit me <laughs> that it might be a meteorite. The very next day, uh, it was in the newspaper. Uh, Phil McCausland was uh, looking for anybody that had seen anything or heard anything. Well, uh, three weeks ago today, there was a very bright fireball seen all over Ontario. Uh, last week we talked about that in the press. If you were standing right here at the time of that fireball, just over in this direction, you would have seen a very bright light. There would have been lots of uh, explosions. The whole neighborhood would have lit up. Uh, about a minute later, uh, meteorites actually landed in this area and what we've been trying to do for the last two weeks is take the information from all of our video systems that recorded this bright fireball and figure out where on the ground meteorites may have fallen. And so I emailed him. And when I read her description, bingo, that's it. It was, it was certain from her description right away and uh, it would have been very surprising if it hadn't been a meteorite once at, at that point. So I called her up, arranged a visit. Uh, three of us came out from Western to, to visit uh, Tony and Yvonne. And as soon as she came around the corner with the bag with this in it, yes, that, that's a meteorite. It was, it was, it's so obvious. When, uh, when it's right, it's right. What's very special about this is that uh, it's, we know how it arrived on Earth. We know from the camera network that's operated by physics and astronomy at Western, we can place it back to its origin point in the solar system, essentially. We can put it back to where it came from. And that is rare. We were very excited, of course, and, and kind of un unbelievable that it was really a meteorite. Everything's gone from there.